Hi guys, it's Sanal. How are you guys doing? Well, I sure hope you're doing well. Today I wanted to come and do a video to talk about why you're so isolated. Now I've covered this topic before and I've covered topics for the chosen ones uh, before in previous videos. And so I wanted to share with you some of my upcoming offerings and opportunities so that you can be a part of this amazing community. I'm Sanav and I've created a sacred space just for the chosen. And that is you. If you want exclusive and special messages designed just for you, because I know what you're going through as a chosen one. I know the journey. I'm right here with you. I know what you're going through. I know some of the things that you'll tackle and some of the things you'll need to overcome. I know the weapons that are formed against you. And I know the strategies to help you win. And so together, let's create this amazing community. I have links down below so that you can join here on Facebook. You can join me over on Patreon and be a part of the community. You can also send me an email. I'll leave the information below so that you can join and you can receive my email newsletter list. You'll want to do that. Thank you so much for being a part of the community. Thank you so much for your comments, your amazing sharing. I love it. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. All right, I'm going to leave all the information, all the links below to join the community here on YouTube, to join us over on Patreon, to receive exclusive content and exclusive messaging and information that is designed and crafted just for you. All right, I love you guys so much. I support you, chosen ones, my precious, beautiful, amazing gems, my beautiful chosen ones. I support you in everything you do, and I am here for you. And so... I've got so much to share. This video is inspired by a video that I did um, previously about um, soft life, right? And it's a video that's also inspired by um, Felicia over at Feminine Fancy and also a video on isolation by uh, Trinius Henderson. Shavi Zane has also covered um, this topic of um, isolation by the chosen ones, God isolating you and the, and the reasons for that. And so I'm going to leave links to them below and um, share that with you. Of course, first I got to make some, um, <laughs> I got to make some tea. So let's, let's go do that. Cause girl, I'm thirsty. Go get your tea. Let's make some tea together and let's sit and let's chat. All right, girls <laughs> and guys, my precious gems, my precious, precious, beautiful chosen ones. Um, yes, the queen is here. <laughs> mm. I'm back with my tea. Yes. Mm. Of course, I got it warming over there on my coffee mug warmer, so it's a little warm. Mm. I need to be um, using this little towel that I got. I got more of these. I got some of these on Amazon and mm, all the good places, but let's hop on into it. So I wanted to talk to you about why you are isolated. Now, we all go through isolation for different reasons. I shared my, a little bit of my personal story in the last video. I'll leave it linked below. But I was listening the other day to Felicia over at the Feminine Fancy, and she was talking about um, some of the things that she had gone through in her life and how she had a particular family member that was really just unkind, just for no reason, um, would say mean things like, I like your brother <laughs> better than I like you, wouldn't invite her purposely to different video i mean to different gatherings family gatherings just was mean for no absolutely no reason so my heart went out to felicia let me just say first of all let me just say thank you to felicia for sharing this message thank you so much i just it took a lot of courage for you to share that message sweetie i and i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you so i'm hoping that as we all sort of join together and support each other as a community that we come together and just love on each other right just love on each other send each other love and just realize just how amazing we are that we're chosen for a purpose that we really have amazing gifts and talents and skills within us 
and sometimes it although it's hard and it's difficult difficult um that these things can build a lot of character and that you can receive a lot of gems and really great information about how you want to create your life craft your life and the people you want to curate and bring into your world and so again felicia i'm so proud of you and so grateful for you sharing um this message i'm gonna leave this link to her video below guys so you can go check it out my heart goes out to you to anyone precious my precious beautiful gems chosen ones anyone um who is experiencing that dear one i know it's hard and it's difficult at to to really feel okay right to not feel sad or upset or just wonder like what is going on like what's really going on and so in addition to my video i, I also i'm gonna link like i said trinius henderson and I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. And also, uh, Shavi Zane. They've covered these topics. And a host of amazing content creators. Um, and, and spiritual people. And they're covering these topics because it's important. So, for me, um, I went through a season like that with family members. With, with a cousin growing up. And the person was just mean. <laughs> for, I don't even know, the you know, what else to say. But the person was just um, mean. Y'all, I'm recent, reaching for some lotion, y'all, because I just realized my hands. Um, we're human over here. <laughs> we deal with angels and, um, you know, our higher selves and so forth and so on. But, you know, we're human. So I was um, really just um, thinking about this because, like I said, when I was a teenager, my grandmother died when I was 14. So I had to go live with cousins and um so everyone in my family well some of my cousins really tried to older cousins who were uh and aunts who were my um grandmother's age or at least adults really tried to i don't know sort of surround me or at least um help me to fuse these new relationships for where i was staying my mom had had a nervous breakdown when i was 11 so i wasn't able to go be with her my sisters um, my siblings, my brother, um, they all lived in another state. I had other siblings by my father, didn't know. Um, and my stepmom wasn't really open um, to having um, stepchildren. We'll just put it like that. It was not nice. She was not nice. <laughs> not kind at all. Um, so, breathe. So I really kind of went through it. And then I had a cousin that was so mean. I mean, just mean, just mean it, it, for no reason. She didn't want me to come around over to their house. She didn't want, she thought everybody kind of catered to me. Everybody uh, felt sorry for me. Everybody thought I was so pretty. Everybody thought, you know, I was so this, or I thought I was cute and you know, all the ugly things, right? She didn't want me to be around. She didn't want me to come to their church. She didn't want me to spend the night with them. I spent the night one night. She kept me up all night. Just, you wanted to fight. She just wanted to, but not loud enough for her mom and her sisters to hear, but just loud enough to, you know, to let me know, don't ever come back over here again. And I did. Um, but I survived, right? I lived through um, the meanness, the being felt like I was ostracized, being very lonely, felt like people didn't want me around. Um, you know, my mom was having her issues. And so I was going through all of that. And I'm, I'm telling this story because you may be going through something or have gone through something similar. And I've had to really take a moment, because Mike don't want to act right, but I've had to take a moment to let myself heal, which is hence why I drink tea calming very calming i have some chamomile in here y'all mm. and some rose and hibiscus and other good stuff but yeah i have to learn right how to let go i've got links to my amazon store if you're going to pick any of these things up okay a teapot my kettle all that but anyway so i had to learn how to breathe and how to center myself how to love myself really loving myself was such a huge huge thing for most of my teenage years um because i had to learn my mom took me to the side in one of her moments and said to me 
I want you to look at the mirror and say, I love you. I love you. I love you. And so there are a couple of reasons why um, spirit really wants you to be isolated, right? Um, and we'll talk about that, I think, in another video. But isolation is, can be, such a difficult thing. And if you are a chosen one, there will be times when you'll be isolated. That, those situations, my stepmother um, having, you know, a not, I used to call her the evil stepmother um, when I was growing up, but having a stepmother that wasn't really receptive and open, because I also have a sister that's like a month and a half older, um, older than me. And so she wasn't was less receptive to me than uh, much less receptive to me than she was to my other sister, but not very receptive to her at all. And so, and then having cousins, right? That cousin that I mentioned, that's just one. Um, and people, right? People looking at you, oh, she's the orphan. She's the, you know, you'd hear the little things. Oh, you know, her grandmother died. So she doesn't really have a place to go. And, you know, her mom, you know, she's having all these problems. So, you know, you know, her, her grandmother used to teach school, right? So it's really sad how, you know, what's happening to her and whatever. So you hear the gossip. You hear, you hear it all, right? And you hear people talking about you and your situation. I was a kid not understanding and really not knowing how to manage it at all. First of all, I'm managing, trying to manage my own emotions of what's happening to me. Why did my grandmother pass away? Uh, what happened with my mom? What's going on with her? Is she going to be healed? Is she going to be well? Will I see my siblings again? Um, will I always have to be in this situation of staying here where people have taken you in but not necessarily it wasn't necessarily their choice they had to do it they didn't have a choice to do it because where else were you gonna go right um my um grandmother's cousin took me in she was older and so it wasn't a, a, a matter of necessarily being mean she was just elderly she had retired and so she really would say all the time i thought my raising children days was over so <laughs> she wasn't um able to like play and talk and all those things because she really was in a different much older stage in her life and i and i know that from my grandmother because um she and my grandmother were the same age so that was even difficult for my grandmother having to raise me it's like you're in a different stage of life you're not a parent able to run here and there you don't want to run here and there and go to the movies and have sleepovers and hangouts and go to football games and all that so a lot of things i wasn't able to do especially when my grandmother was alive but then uh, with my cousin um she did allow me to go and i call her my dear she did allow me to go to do a lot of places and do a lot of things um that i haven't pre hadn't previously done and that was also a war within myself getting to go to football games the movies and all this stuff it's like it was very different lifestyle than what my grandmother had led which was a very strict christian upbringing no this type of music no that type of music no these kind of clothes, no short skirts, no this, no short pants, no, you know, short, short pants, no this, no, wear skirts all the time, right? So <laughs> it's like night and day and I'm like, what's going on and how do I navigate this? And why am I isolated? Why am I alone through all of this? Why, why, I, you know, all of my cousins, other cousins, a lot of my closer cousins um, who um, were my Madea's, uh, my Madea's, um, you know, children were older. They were all adults. So there was nobody for me to talk to at 14. They were adults raising their own families, doing their own things. They didn't have time. And <laughs> some of the other, you know, uh, extended family members lived in other places, Detroit, Chicago, other places. So I may not, I wouldn't see them maybe once a year. And um, they didn't always bring their children with them who would be my age or grandchildren, really, who would be my age. So I was isolated a lot. And I was, the things I was doing was journaling and talking to spirit and talking to God and talking to the most high, getting to know my higher self, getting to know myself and just pouring into myself a lot of love. But at the same time, I was facing a lot of self-hate, even from my, from my own self, 
why am I in this situation crying in tears and upset all the time? I just, if you made it to this far in the message, bless you. I just wanted to come on to just say that I get it. I, I get now why I had to be isolated and why that happened, right? Those, not anything negative like, you know, um, deaths or anything like that. I don't know if I'll ever understand. <laughs> no. Um, but it did was a season of growth for me. Um, and I did need to grow and I did learn some different things. I learned how to take care of, my, take care of myself. I learned how to stand up for myself. And when I heard Felicia from the Femin Feminine Fancy talk about this, right? I learned how to have a soft life. I learned how to be soft and gentle and good to myself. Because if other people weren't going to be good to me, then I darn you sure was going to learn how to be good to myself. I learned, this was a season, I learned self-care. I learned self-love. I learned how to have friends, get friends from outside myself, people that I had never really talked to, people that I didn't really know. I learned how to make friends. I learned how to, I was a very shy person, still am. Um, <laughs> still have a lot of anxiety, but I had to learn how to talk to people, get to know different people, get to have different friends. If one group didn't accept me, go on to the next one. Or I, I spent a lot of time by myself um, reading and journaling and in prayer and meditation and just walking like I would just walk places by myself go places and do things by myself I did make some friends during those times um but my girl my Maria would tell me she says these are not long-lasting friends these are just now friends I didn't understand that until I was an adult and I decided to be a stay-at-home mom and our choices and lives went in different directions. People seemed not to really respect my choice to be a stay-at-home mom, home mom. They wanted, I don't know, something else, something different that I just didn't want. I chose to be more like Maria, I think, more like the person who raised me, began raising me at 14. Uh, my grandmother taught school and she was a career woman, all of that. I love her and respected her very much. My life choice was, um, with because I have a, an amazing husband, was to be at home, to stay at home, to have a softer life, um, and to be softer and gentler to myself, and to try to learn and figure out how to really be a really good mom, a great mom, and a great wife. Now, did I make mistakes? A whole hell of a lot of them. <laughs> excuse, excuse my French, uh, pardon. But um, I made a lot of mistakes and I'm still learning how to be a good wife and a good parent. I, I'm still learning how to be the best mommy I can be because adult children are are very different than raising your babies. Because you want your, I want my babies to stay babies forever. <laughs> um, and they have to learn, they have to grow and they have their own challenges and roads that they must go through and periods of isolation and periods of learning and spending time with spirit and all of that. I just wanted to share this with you because sometimes you feel very alone. You feel like nobody understands. No, no stands. No one knows what I'm going through. No one understands. But I, I just want you to know that the Spirit has you. You're wrapped in love. Precious, anointed, chosen gem. Dear heart, dear one, you are chosen and you have a purpose on your life. And no matter what happens, no matter what's going on around you, remember who you are. Remember that you are chosen. And know that you are never alone. Every breath that you breathe, every breath that you take, every time your heart beats, is just a reminder that you are not alone. No matter how much the isolation may seem to be or how hard this time or the season may seem to be know that there's a purpose in this okay there is a purpose in this and there's a purpose for this right and you're going to come out of the other side stronger and wiser yes and you're going to come out with the purpose in a clearer vision than you've ever had before all right guys again this is sanab i love you so much chosen when you are so amazing you are beautiful you are precious and you are loved. And of course, you're always welcome here, right here, right here. 
in this sacred space that I've created for you, the chosen one. I love you guys so much. All right. All right, family. Hit the join button if you want to be a part of this family because I've got some amazing things in store for the chosen one. All right. For the chosen ones. This is a sacred space just for you. And if you want exclusive content dedicated just to you, just or you, because I know what you're going through. I know. <laughs> then this road is different from any other road you will ever go on. I know what it's like. And so if you want <laughs> to be a part of an exclusive, amazing community, I have a Patreon group. And also I am here on YouTube and you hit the join button and get exclusive content on both. And you can send me an email if you want to... Um, be a part of my newsletter that I'm send I'm going to start sending out. So all of these things are here for you. All right, guys. I love you so much. This is Sanav signing off and I'll see you in another video real soon.